Okay, well, go ahead. First thing you would do. Let's see if your method is even more efficient than the way they do it here. What would you do first here? Okay, well, what I would do is um, mm -hmm. time, because you basically want to have zero, well, you want to get rid of either y or x. So you can do, you can actually do mm -hmm. equations. So basically, you, right. you um, multiply the second equation by two and then subtract it. That's zero. excellent. That's excellent. Now, what made you see that multiplication by two? Well, it's just easier than doing x, and it's y and 2y. So. Excellent. Yes, that's exactly right. Um, you want, again, you can do anything you want to an equation as long as you do exactly the same thing to both sides. So algebra is there completely at your convenience. Which And, and so you want to look in advance. If I have two ways of doing this, which way is going to be easier? Which way is going to require less effort? And in this case, get, multiplying the bottom by 2 and getting rid of the y is going to be the easiest, fastest way for me to do this. Yeah. And so that's exactly right. Because, you know, so like chess, you don't want to just look at the first step that you can do. You want to look at, and what's that going to leave me with when I have to do yeah. the, the following step? And so that gets rid of your y's, and then you're left with, uh, if you scroll down about uh, to the, about the middle of the page. Well, and so we, we do it out to negative x is equal to negative 11, therefore x is equal to 11. And now since we know that, we can plug in that value in the first equation, no, in the first or the second? In the second unmultiplied equation. Yeah, actually. Yeah, whichever one is easier because there's no extra reward for doing it the hard way. So at every step, ask yourself, is this the easiest way I can do it? I mean, don't sweat over it, but if you have a choice, you know, pick the easier path uh, for whichever way. This is where so, I make my like, I, I got minus, I got negative x equals minus 11, and then, and then I mm -hmm. obviously knew x is 11, and then I did, 3x, so 33 plus, um, plus 2y equals 7. And then I added 7 for some reason. I don't know why. Like, that's where I make the little mistakes. Then I had 40 plus 2y equals 0, like, in my head. And then I would, like, oh. Well, well, well I, I, would, I would advise you that, that a very concrete way of making sure you don't make that kind of mistake is to write down each intermediate step. Don't yeah. do it in your head. Because when you 